Can the sound of tubes be recorded? It's an interesting question, and it comes to us from Michael in Austria. Hey, Paul, I wonder if tube sound can be recorded. Whenever we record sound digitally and play it back again, we utilize a certain chain of instruments, musical instrument, microphone, mic preamp, analog to digital converter, some kind of digital storage, a DAC, power amp, etc. And the ear of the listener, uh, as, as well, sorry. Uh, now we can add a tube sound, for example, by inserting a tube preamp between the DAC and the power amp, but wouldn't we get the same or at least a very similar result by inserting that tube preamp between the mic preamp and the ADC? Yeah, you would. Um, and this is something that I've spent a lot of time thinking about and, and working with. And, and oh, by the way, we're still in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is the first time I've been back in my office on a Sunday hanging out. And I'm doing so because there's nobody here. Even my computer, if you remember, my computer's gone. I've got, thank you, people have been sending me CDs and I, I haven't even had a chance to really open them all up. Um, I'm getting magazines. What is this? Ah, yep. I, it's it's a it's a mess. It's crazy. But here we are, and this is a, a bit of a step forward. At least I feel a bit more comfortable to come back into work after how many months? Four months? Yeah. So I've been working at home, and still will continue to do so. And maybe next the next two weeks when I do another set of videos, I'll, I'll do them from home again because that was actually really fun being in my garden. And as long as there's good weather, why not? So, one of the first times all of this became very apparent to me was my good buddy Michael Fremer. So Michael Fremer is a reviewer at Stereophile. He's the, our vinyl guru. Michael knows more about vinyl records, their reproduction, their recording, the whole bit than anybody I know on the planet. And when I was at Michael's house, um, or Mikey, but we all just call him, you know, Mike, he showed me something that was really interesting. When he travels, when he used to travel by air, he had a really nice set of headphones and a portable music player. I don't remember what it was. But what he did is he would record vinyl. He would take his wonderful turntable setup, put on a vinyl record, go through an ADC, analog to digital converter. He would record the whole thing onto uh, digital audio, put it onto his little portable cassette player, and play music through his headphones that he enjoyed very much. And I listened to it, and, and it sounds just like his system. It sounds like vinyl. And I started thinking about that. If we can accurately record the sound of vinyl or the sound of vacuum tubes or the sound of a Grace microphone preamplifier, what that says to me, and we can, so what that says to me is that properly done digital audio captures everything about analog that is analog. And it really negates one of the great arguments of all time. People go, I, I only listen to, I only listen to vinyl. I, I hate digital. But when they listen to a vinyl recording done with a digital recorder and playback system, it sounds like vinyl. So what does that say? It says vinyl is a lot better than most of us think about. And it also says something very interesting, that vacuum tubes, that vinyl, all those things have a sound to them that isn't exactly neutral, which is true. And so we can capture that coloration, that sound that we get, and the compression and all the stuff that goes along with that very accurately on digital. So in answer to your question, yep, and we could go a lot deeper into this but I kind of limit these videos to five or six minutes. So food for thought. 
we, we might talk more about that later. Okay. Hey, thanks for listening. Kind of good to be back here. It's a little weird, but you know, one step at a time, just be safe. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.